Welcome to American Broadcasting Station. With just one simple click, kindly subscribe to our channel for more updates. Russia has called upon more volunteers to help form a new group of fighters for the war in Ukraine. A lucrative cash bonus has been offered to those who would eventually become the country's Third Army Corps. Recent intelligence indicates the Third Army Corps will move to the front line in Ukraine. The Third Army Corps is undergoing training in Mulino, about four and a half hours drive east of Moscow. Intelligence and railway database reports state that trains loaded up in Mulino departed this week heading to Neklanivka railway station in Russia's Rostov region, which is near the border with Ukraine's Donetsk region in the east. So far, it is impossible to say with certainty exactly where the Russian command plans to use the core forces. However, the final point of the echelons, Neklanivka station, located in the south of the Rostov region, is located closest to the Donetsk and Zaporizhzhia areas of the front. The Third Army Corps is composed of men aged 18 to 50. They will help to fill a void after failures in Ukraine and mass losses on the battlefield. The new group of volunteers don't have any prior military experience, nor any education beyond middle school or high school. Russia's casualties have reportedly surpassed 46,000 as the war enters its 27th week. The Third Army Corps has been giving little training to fight along the front lines, giving needed relief to their fellow countrymen. Russia began building troops along Ukraine's northern and western borders in late January, and they began attacking Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Since then, there have been heavy casualties on both sides. That includes Ukrainian civilians, foreign fighters, Ukrainian military and more than 46,500 Russians. Russia has failed to overtake Kyiv, Lviv, and Odessa, but they occupy many regions in the eastern portion of Ukraine. Russia has occupied most of the Donbas Oblast, which includes Luhansk, Severodonetsk, Donetsk, and Mariupol. They occupied the Crimea Peninsula in 2014. Russia has also occupied the major southern cities of Kherson and Melitopol, inching their way toward Odessa and the southwestern Transnistria area near the Moldova border. While some think Russia has lost its grip on the war, and perhaps its aggressiveness, a new set of soldiers on the front line could possibly restore some morale as well. Kindly subscribe for more updates.